a very good morning to all of you. Okay? Today I'm going to show okay, how are you going to evaluate the surface integral of scalar field using mapper. Okay, as usual, okay, okay, put up the statements, we start to clear the previous memory. And then okay, um, this is a okay, where I input from this text tape button for you to put up the remark. So let's uh what the surface integral of scalar field. Okay, let's recall back. Let S be a surface with equation Z equal to GXY and let R be its projection on XY plane if G, K, G, X, this is a subscript, uh, G subscript X here, and GY are continuous K on region R and F is continuous on the surface S, then the surface integral of F over S is given by this is a double integral f x y z d s d capital s is one unit scale of surface area of z given by z here or this is what we over the surface s so this integral is what we call as a surface integral of scalar field okay as you learn okay, the surface area in double integral d s here can be expressed as 1 plus, okay, you may use gx or zx squared plus zy squared. So this is a, okay, this is a, I mean, this part is actually your ds. And then, okay, d, da. From, okay, one unit, ds is actually, so uh -huh, this square root with the da over region r. And z, you have to express back in terms of x and y. Okay, if f x y z equal to one, this one equal to one, this will this will reduce to what uh, we have learned in double integral surface area of given by surface k z here. In this one can be z x z y. Okay, if the integral f x y z is actually given by density function, then Okay, this surface integral of scalar field actually represents the mass of lamina in 3D space. Because you have a lamina is a thin sheet, okay, but now in 3D. So you have the lamina consists of area only. So in 3D, it will become the surface area. Surface area times density function, then you get the mass of lamina in 3D space. Okay, for example, you have a cone shape surface lamina S is given by Z equal to 4 minus 2 third X squared plus Y squared, where Z from 0 up to 4. The density function is given by square root X squared plus Y squared, find the mass of the lamina. Here, okay, this one may be a, a plot scale. If you put out this one, you won't show all the function in the plot. If you put okay, uh, semicolon, then you can see you have several functions under the plots package here. Okay, and then I'm going to plot okay, for you to see the surface. Okay, plot 3D. Make sure here is a function of okay, x and y. If x and y, then you put the ring of x and y. If you put out, let's say this is x, z, and then this is limit for x and z here. So your surface okay, z equal to 4 minus 2 third x squared plus y squared. So multiply shift 8 here. And you get this is a cone. cone. Then the range up to you. You can put up okay, any value that you like. And then okay, the cone is bounded z 0 until z equal to so I mean up to the you have a okay on the plane xy plane which is z equal to zero. So when z equal to zero, you equal to that cone equation. So zero mean like here z equal to zero. So zero equal to four minus two third x squared plus y squared. Then you bring this k term to the other side. So you have positive two third 
x squared plus y squared equal to 4. Okay. Bring the 2 to right hand side, become third. x squared plus y squared equal to 2. Squared both hand side. Okay. Uh, so this is x squared plus y squared equal to 4 which is actually a circle centered at origin with radius true unit. So to plot that circle, you can use an implicit plot, which is under the with plots here, implicit plot. If you implicit plot 3D, well, this is 2D, okay, 2D only. So implicit plot x squared plus y squared equal to 4. Okay, you know it's a radius from uh, with radius true unit. So I put the range of x and y is negative 2 to 2y from negative 2 to 2. Okay, Hans K, you know that your mass, this is actually m, so the mass is given by this surface integral of scalar field. Where the fxyz is given by equation is actually third x squared plus y squared, and then you need to find uh, from z, from z you need to find z x, z y, so you can find the ds. Okay, da since the region R is a circle with radius two unit centered at origin. Okay, so da and da going to use okay polar coordinate r dr. Theta. So R from 0 to 2, theta from 0 to 2 pi, you need to find the F, which is the density function, you need to find ds. Okay, to find ds, you need to define z first. So we define z, to define any okay, expression or if you want to do any calculation in MAPLE, make sure colon equal, colon equal. So the z is actually... 4 minus 2, multiply, make sure shift 8 here, square root, okay, you can get from this key button, square root, okay, to type the superscript, okay, you press the shift, uh, I think, 6 to go up, this is up here, remember F, and then press shift 6, then you go up 2, to go down left, but, uh, left key, and then you can press plus, okay, and so on. So, it defines your Z, now you need to find okay how to type this one or you just use z x ah, this okay this one is getting from here use this one not use this one this is another meaning is a under this stand for the subscript z k okay, z x if you don't want to use subscript you may also use z x okay so column equal Delta x, the z, okay, delta x get from the calculus, huh? this one, delta x, f, change it to z. Okay. So notice the text won't be executed. So this is a partial derivative respect to x, z, y, then so ds, ds is square root okay, 1 plus zx squared plus zy squared okay, and since we know that the region R is, pol R is circular, we we'll use polar coordinate Hence, okay, we replace x squared plus y squared by R squared okay, so I substitute huh? substitute x squared plus y squared equal to R squared into the ds here okay and then mean you execute from this line first. Show you. Okay. First of all, mean initially I put it this one. So we get here. So you notice that uh the x squared plus y squared at the numerator won't be factored out and replaced by or substituted by r squared. So that's why I try to simplify. Okay, I simplify also they, they didn't know how to okay, factor. In this one, if you factor, you got 4 times of x squared plus y squared, suppose. 
okay, will be replaced by R squared. Initially, it will just substitute like this. So after I, I ask to simplify, okay, they make the 1 here become R squared over R squared. You combine it, become 1 fraction. However, mappers still don't know how to factor out this form. And substitute, okay, substitute x squared plus y squared equal to r squared. That's why I have no choice. I do it manually. As you know, this 4 times of x squared plus y squared, you've got 4 r squared plus r squared. We have 5 r squared. Okay, eliminate. Simply, I mean, divided by r squared. That's why I get third point. So this is manual. Okay, and then we call the density function in the f, okay, the f x y z here, density function given by third x squared plus y squared. What's I call? Okay. And then okay, I substitute x squared plus y squared equal to r squared. Okay. Oh, put out into f. Okay. They didn't know how to simplify. Okay, but luckily they can do it. Okay, and last, okay, the mass, okay, if, if you want to assign, you can put it, this is M. If you want to call back the so M later on, then you assign like this. So the M is actually, you have the density function given by F. Okay, ds, this is actually da. Okay, because uh, region R is circular, we use polar coordinate. And region R is actually, after you equal the z equal to 0, you get x squared plus y squared equal to 4, which is circle centered at origin with radius 2 unit. Okay, and it's full circle. That's why the R from 0 to 2, Theta from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, F is actually given by okay, uh, the equation third x squared plus y squared. Okay, because the region R is circular, so we replace x squared plus y squared equal to R squared. So this one supposed to get R. So ds, ds is actually one third one plus z x squared plus z y squared. Once you need to define the z. Find zx, actually delta x the z, find the zy, it's actually delta y is the z. Then you call, okay, put out the formula 1 plus zx squared plus zy squared and assign it into ds, one unit of surface area. Okay, and we know this, uh, we are going to use k okay, polar coordinate to solve it, because x squared plus y squared will be replaced by r squared. Okay. And then even though we simplify, maple couldn't okay? factor out 4 and substitute x squared plus y squared equal to r squared. First, this step I do it manually. So in my ds, I have third five. So ds here, this is third five. This is a f. Okay, d a r d r d theta. So if you plug in, you get the mass of the okay? cone shapes, okay? lamina. The callback surface integral of scalar field is actually given by this one. If the fxyz is density function, then this is a mass of the okay, lamina in three dimensions space. Okay. And in this question, the density function is given by third x squared plus y squared. ds is actually square root 1 plus okay, sin z equal to g. So 1 plus zx squared plus zy squared da. Okay over region R. Region R in this case is uh, circle with radius 2 units centered at origin. So we use polar coordinate where dA change to R, the R the theta. So R from 0 to 2, theta from 0 to 2 pi. So Hernske, you need to find the F, find, okay, find the Zx, Zy, plug in into this formula to get the with this, thank you for your attentions.